Hello everyone, my name is Colin and you are watching Classy Herbs. Alright guys, so what you're looking at there is the newest member of the Classy Herbs family. This little guy has quite a story that I'm going to share with you guys today, so here it goes. Alright, now this guy's name is Tommy. And he had a previous owner who was a girl, her name was Jazzy, and this girl had been dealing with cancer for quite some time. This girl's eight years old. Just this summer, she was cleared and she thought she was okay, and the doctors thought that the cancer was gone and she was going to be okay. She lived with her grandmother, and her grandmother bought her this Chinese water dragon here as a gift because they thought she was all better. Well, just recently, very recently, they found out that the cancer had come back, and now this time it came back, it was really bad. Really bad. So they are moving to a really big city, and with, uh, I'm not exactly sure where, but they're moving there to go to the hospital, they're pretty much living at the hospital, and so obviously they can't have any pets. They had uh, this Chinese water dragon, a guinea pig, and they also had a husky, it was a dog. They asked us, because I live in a really small town, and Around here, everybody knows everybody and what everyone's doing. And so, my mom worked with this lady, and the grandmother of the owner of this Chinese water dragon here. And she knew that I had all these animals, and so she wanted it to go to someone who knew how to take care of it. So she gave it to me. And this girl's going to be in the hospital for a long time. She has to go through 21 days of chemotherapy, and she has to do that five or six times. No, that is just horrible. This girl's only eight years old. So... I've just felt so bad for her that we just could obviously not say no to taking her lizard. She loved this lizard so much. She held it every day. It's super, super tame. She held it every day. She loved it so much. She was crying when she had to bring it over. And it was just, it was a really sad day. But, so I have it now. And either temporary or permanently, I'm not sure yet. If the girl makes it, I will gladly return it. But if not, then I guess Tommy here is, he's here to stay. So... This is the newest edition of Classy Herbs, and he's got quite a touching story. He resembles a lot more than just any of my other animals, so this is Tommy. Tommy right now is just in this little 20-gallon just because they called on Friday, and then they brought it over on Saturday, and so we didn't have any time to put a cage together or anything, and they couldn't bring the cage over because they were leaving. They were leaving to go to the hospital the next day, so they just brought the lizard over, and he's a creep on his head, but they just brought him over, and so... Now he uh, he's with us, and we're gonna put up a big old cage for him, just just like he needs, of course. But he's just in here temporarily. All right, now we're moving on. These two snakes right here. This one is a het clown, and this one's a het carmelabina. If you remember back last Christmas, I got them for free with a bunch of other purchases. I didn't really know what to do with them, and my rack's full, and I don't have a male for either one of them. So actually, I'm going to be selling both of them and making room. Hopefully going to be getting a male exantic for my female exantic, and I really want to get a fire female to put with my male bumblebee and make some cool things there. And that's going to be opening up two more spots in my rack system right there. So... Yeah, these guys probably won't be in any more videos, even though I haven't showed them very often. This uh, this is just their last highlight, because they'll probably be gone next week. I just really like this het clown right here, her, how bright her colors are. It's just I'm pretty sure it's associated with the clown gene that she has, and her belly is clear, and she's just super, super pretty. So, she's got a lot of yellows. She almost looks pastel, but of course she's not. She's just normal. So, these two girls will be gone, hopefully and uh, I will get some new ones in. I've had a few requests to see my big pinstripe girl, so here she is. I'm going to put her in the scale for you guys. She's just over a year old, and she's, oh, she's weighing in at an astounding uh, 1934. So 1,934 grams at a little over a year old. So she is a hefty girl, to say the least. So she'll go back in her tub here, and she just eats and eats and eats. Alright, so I haven't done a pup of the week in a while, so here's one. Just kind of an interesting pattern and color. I kind of like it. That's been your pub of the week. Alright, also, I've asked you guys quite a bit over the summer on how to control flies, and it got so bad where about two weeks ago or so, like, you could come in here and it was just, you would be swarmed. Like, it was just thick flies. It was horrible. Just horrible. 
And so I just went to Walmart and Orsons and a lot of farm stores that sell like uh, heavy duty fly stuff and I went and pretty much bought everything they had to kill flies. Right. So obviously I go through these strips, I change out my fly strips weekly and that's how much I, I catch like in a week. But that's those that work okay, but they didn't really like make the flies go away. They just kinda you know, they, they I don't know. But this thing right here, you see, look at all these flies on the ground. Every morning I come out to see this many flies are dead around this thing. It is just really nasty, but it sure works. This little tube right here you have to break it and it kinda smells like like manure or something, I don't really know, it's a fly attractive, but the flies are attracted to it. They come and land on this yellow thing, and then they, there must be sugar on there, something that attracts them, but there's also poison on it, and so they eat the poison, and I wish one of them landed on it, but now there's not any more alive flies in this place, but they land on there, and within like, within 30 seconds they're dead, so every day I kill this many flies in here, and so there aren't any more live flies in here. Um, but if, if I ever find one, I can just hit it with my fly swatter, it's how many are left, but... So that is what it works. I don't really know what it's called. I threw the box away, but these things work like... Like, I have never seen something work this well before. It's, it was amazing. Alright, so I haven't done, like, a Who's Your Mama thing in a long time, but, uh, I don't... Because the last one we had some issues, she actually ended up dying in birth. But, these are her daughters, who I was going to follow, and they just had their first litter. Uh, that one's like a blue Rex Dumbo, and this one is, uh black rex dumbo but their brother was uh siamese blue point he was really cool and they just had their first litter a few days ago and so there it is all right so last week i asked you guys out of any animal which would be the best starter lizard for someone who is just getting into reptiles and the answer was pretty much evenly split right down the middle almost between leopard geckos and crested geckos for the best animal so there's just a few of the comments and then third place went to bearded dragons who they were pretty popular also but not quite as popular as crested geckos or leopard geckos so that's how you guys thought about that this week is going to be a little different from the last few weeks i've been doing just giving out general short little comments uh... question things but because i have that new lizard now and he has quite a story next week i'm going to feature one comment of uh, the best story anyone has about how they got an animal and I will read through them all so if you have an interesting story about how you got your animal kinda like how I got Tommy there and uh, leave it in a comment leave a nice long comment and I'll read the whole thing out next Monday and yeah you get a nice little shout out alright until next Monday you've been watching Classy Herbs